It's pretty obvious to many of my viewers that I have a somewhat uncommon preference in media. I mainly show interest towards the spooky stuff that makes you go, Mom, I just peed my pants again. And the reason for this surprisingly isn't because I love pissing myself, it's because I love the horror genre. It's, it's like playing Russian Roulette. You have a 1 in 6 chance of getting a fantastic, just absolutely fantastic, cuddle session with death. And you get a 5 in 6 chance of, well, disappointment. Most horror media is like, uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> really bad. <laughs> but there's that one chance that that horror movie with the cheesy cover is gonna blow your frickin' mind, just like that bullet would. Do you see the absolute genius that is the title of this video? No, but seriously, in my spare time, I love going on Steam or Netflix and taking a peek of the island that's known as the horror genre. I'm always expecting to find some like hilariously bad shit that I'll just keep in mind next time I need a movie to use as like background noise while I'm trying to, you know, like nut in someone's daughter. <laughs> but when I click on that movie with a cheesy cover expecting garbage and get a movie with an interesting premise, enjoyable characters, unexpected plot twists, and it makes me pee my pants, it feels so rewarding. You're searching through garbage and you find gold. And that's why I like horror media. Why the heck do you keep on saying horror media? Just say horror movies, you dang turd sniffer. Well, because you dysfunctional piece of hardware, I'm not just talking about scary movies. Horror is everywhere. Fictional podcasts like the Black Tapes podcast, or books like, uh... Okay, I don't read books. Or even... Silent Hill is a game franchise brought to you by the success of the Resident Evil franchise, which is brought to you by Alone in the Dark, which is brought to you by Pac-Man and Sonic 4. That's right, video game boy, it's video game time! You see, horror games add a whole new element into the horror experience. It puts you in the situation, gives you control, and when something bad goes wrong, guess who dies? I'll give you a hint, it's not Jamie Lee. It's up to you to survive, and it's up to you to get the fuck out of that EW GROSS STICKY Mount Massive Asylum. There's something for every gamer fella, casual or ninja. Do you want to get the pants scared off your butt? Here's Outlast. Do you want to go pew 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 on some terrifying monsters? Killing Floor. Do you want an atmospheric story driven psychological artistic horror experience? Silent Hill. Do you want like whatever the fuck the Resident Evil franchise is? Sure. Uh, here you go. I've spent hours and hours immersed in the horror genre, pretending like I'm not failing school, doomed to be a literal nobody until I inevitably die. And the experience I've gotten out of them are like no other. I know this video's been all over the place, I don't really know how to end it because like I'm like, I'm a new like YouTube baby, I'm a newborn, um, but what it really comes down to is most of the horror genre is stinky poopy garbage, and I actually do like pissing myself.